Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. Yes. Okay, darling. Today I'm gonna be making two citrus candles for you guys. Yes. I'm gonna review them on my live stream on Sunday. Okay. So like I show you on my live stream last Sunday, I, I like two of the candles formulations that I made. So let me just go get them. Okay, here they are. Yes, my masterpieces is number number three and number four. So let's see, number three is limoncello, uh, uh, lemon, limoncello kind of uh, the base. Oh my God. It has a secret ingredient that makes this high end. Oh my God, this is out of this world. This, is, this, one, this one's gonna be one of my big, big sellers. And number four, it's uh, orange blossom base. So let's see. And I combine orange blossom with another different uh, fruit, another citrus. Okay, this one is giving me life, guys. Okay, and these two, I'm gonna use 10% fragrance load. Okay? So, uh, let me just go get everything ready, guys, and I'll be right back. Yes! I wanna give you an update on the candles that I made that I'm queuing, guys. I'm so excited about. So this, and number one, these candles, are the ones that I made with a fragrance oil that one of my subscribers recommended. Uh, she recommended honey, honey bourbon and saffron tobacco from the Wooden Week Company, guys. Okay, it's been a week, guys, and I have to say the city is out of this world. I love it. Okay. And then the other one that I made using those two oils. Let's see how the city. Again, guys, I use soy bliss wax and I like to cure them on these boxes in here. Okay, very nice, very expensive. Beautiful, guys. Okay, I'm gonna run an HD test on Saturday and see how this perform. Technically, they should, uh, they should cure for three weeks. So I made this candle on the 17th, July 17th. So, they should hold up. I should hold up and making that, that test, but you know what? What the hell, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, these are the ones that I made the HD test already, guys, and I talked to, talk to you about. Uh, these are the ones that I use 8% uh, 8 fragrance low. This one is my tobacco base. Oh my God, okay. Okay, I have to be honest with, guys, with you guys. I like this, this tobacco fragrance uh, mix better than the, the one that I just got from the Wooden Week Company. But that's my taste. So at least I have another version of different kind of tobacco. How you said, robust, a smell. And this one is gonna give it to me. Okay. Perfect. The next candle that I use 8% fragrance load and I, that I did already perform an HD test. is this one here. This one is my floral base. This one is gonna be a bestseller. Uh, the intense, that the fragrance, uh, the city is getting more intense. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know about what it is about these boxes that it really making uh, the cu curing these boxes are really like giving me life. And the last candle, the one that I told you that I didn't think uh, it was gonna give me strong um, HT or tr strong CT because let's see how this one is doing. Okay, still I'm uh, not there yet. Uh, the uh, the rosemary for some reason is not strong enough so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna melt this one and I'm gonna add two percent more of uh, rosemary oil okay so this one is gonna be I'm gonna take it to the side and I'm gonna reformulate because it's been almost this was almost done on the on the 10th so it's been 12 uh, 12 days so it's not giving me the strength that I want so I'm, I'm just gonna uh, add two two percent more of uh, fragrant oil so it's not a waste because you can always remelt it and make it better. Okay, so there they are. So let me just go um, get the oils ready for our new two new candles. Okay, yes, you're back in the grind, darling. Yes. Oh my god, I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. Oof. It's true, guys. I don't know what to do. I have so many fragrance oils. I don't know where to put them. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let me get my formulas. Let me get a uh, 
kind of making work here so I can write everything and I'll be right back so important to write everything down you know uh, because there's so many different formulas that you have been you know, thinking about and just made so you have to be careful and just make sure that you write everything down so there's no mistakes okay so let me just get a pen here and let me just start writing my candle so okay so guys I know a lot of you guys have been trying to find the soy bliss wax I just say you know just be patient you know it's just I know that um uh, it's been uh, in in demand lately so just be patient you know uh, if you want to try another wax try the one that i was using before which is a uh, pb600 i think i got it at uh, the flaming candle or nature can the flaming candle okay that wax worked for me so uh yeah you know it's just have to wait and just see when when everything's come back um uh, come back on uh on stock and stuff okay so let's see i'm gonna be let me just get the containers that i'm gonna be using for this Okay, so I got the formulation ready. Okay, and for this I'm gonna be using uh, LCS 80. Those, uh, these are the type of wigs that work great on this vessel. And guys, I don't know about you, but I also uh, recommend, you know what, when you find something that you that you know is gonna work out for you, uh, get it, don't wait, because now that you see what happened, if you don't get it, then, uh, then it's gone, then you have to wait. Okay, let me see if I have enough oils to make these candles first. So I have a few left. Remember I ordered the sampler package and they came at 10 weeks per bag. So guys, I'm so, I'm getting so excited because I'm being able to come up with formulas for my candle line, you know, and I'm so happy the way this is. I'm getting quality. My, form my formulas are amazing. I've given it to a few people to test and they all love them, you know, so I'm very happy that I know I'm going the right direction now. It's it's like, it's, they smell so sophisticated, so, uh, so bougie. And that's the way I wanted my, my candle line to be. So, you know, it's, it's all in the testing, you know, and just trial and error. Just keep testing guys, don't give up because you'll be glad you did. You know, it's like, it's like when you go to college, you know, and you start, you start learning a new a new career a new subject you know it's, it takes time you know you have to go through all the testing it's like with everything you know you have to just this is like uh, we, we used to say when i used to work at a magazine you have to pay your dues it's like you know sometimes you have to work um the night shift you know long hours but when you were the uh the rookie the newest you have to do all that you have to go through all that guys so you can experience how it is it's like experiencing everything in life. No, nothing is the same. Everything changes. Okay, so these are already wig plate. Let me just put it in the wig holder. So I'm gonna make the white one. I'm gonna make yellow, and the gray one. I'm gonna make green. So that's what that's the color that I'm gonna use for the candle. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yum. So let me just write out the labels. Okay. Now let's start making the oils. I need to get a new scale. I need to remember this. Okay, so let's see. I need the calculator because I need, I have more than one oil in here. So I need to figure out. 1.1 divided by 3 equals 0 0.3, 0 0.36. Okay, so I need 0.36. Guys, you have to be accurate when you measure these oils. Okay. Next one. Okay. The one is done. Let me just put it in the outside. 
I'm with how many oils? Let me see how many oils. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm not giving you the oils, but it's, it's, it's my trade secret, you understand, okay? What I'm doing is I'm, I'm measuring, I'm making one more potent than the other one. So I want the, the one that I want to be singing more, more the, the strongest oil. It's all a matter of preference. You know, like everybody has different tastes. I just want to make sure that this formula is perfect. And drop by drop, just keep adding drops until you get the, far, the perfect amount. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Perfection. These candles are gonna be amazing, guys. Amazing. Perfect. Okay. Again, I did more in one oil than the other because that's the strength that I want. Again, that's the right secret. That's how you customize your formula. Okay, so I'm gonna take you aside and let's start cooking. Yes! Okay, so I have in here my, my formula, my oil. This is candle number, candle number one, the candle number two. The temperature, let me just get this, let me just get this warmed up first. So here we go, guys, time to, let's see what temperature this is. 222, that's perfect. I want this to be really hot. Because by the time we put this in there, it's, it's gonna get cold, okay? So I need 9.7 ounces of wax. Remember, this wax likes to be hot. Perfect, 9.7, what's the temperature? 217, I'm gonna add the oil. Okay, and enough time. By the time you add the oil, guys, it's just like right now the temperature is 199. You see how much it's. So let me just do this really fast so I can pour it. I decided not to add any color. I think I'm gonna leave them all natural. Okay? So when I have the dogs knocking on the door because they wanna get fed, make sure that I have all the oil in here. It smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pour. Because I'm using a, a fragrance oil that has, is very intense in, in color. I decided not to use color for the other one either because it's, it's just, I want to make sure that the, the formula that I'm using is, it's only wax, for the first time it's only wax and fragrance oil. I don't wanna have the, the color interfere with the, performance of the candle. That I can do in the future, you know, if I feel like it. But for me, the important thing right now is just to get the uh, an amazing HT and CT. So, okay, so let's go for the next one now. Tear, 9.7, 9.9, you see how this is? Is there too much or too little? 9.7, what's the temperature? 214, I'm gonna add the oil. And I'm going to stir. And this, let me see how much the, temp the temperature dropped after adding the oil. 196, you see how much it drops? That's why you have to add it when it's very hot. No, that's why I like to uh, bring, this, bring this on to uh, 220. And then just, this you mix like for 20 seconds and then just pour. It likes to be pour hot. Okay. I am so happy. You see, instead of wasting wax in making four different candles, I just make two beautiful masterpieces. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna work out great. I'm pretty sure the uh, the wick size is perfect for that. You know, it's, it's like I've been getting so uh, experience we using this oil this wax and I'm so happy with the result that I've been getting that you know I don't want to try anything else 
you know, I think I've come to uh, a good place. So, if I'm successful in getting good HD with the with the wooden wicks uh, oils that I just ordered, I'll be so happy. So we'll see. Okay, so let me just go, go clean up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back, darling. Yeah, so here are my two masterpieces. So these are my two beautiful citrus candles, guys. Hopefully, uh, if they come out the way I'm expecting them to come out, uh, the first one is uh, limoncello base, and the second one is like orange base, okay? Orange blossom and other ingredients. So it's lemon and orange. It, it doesn't get more citrus than that, you know? Plus, I did some other secret ingredients, oils that I use for to enhance uh, the bases, okay? Hopefully they give me a uh, wonderful HD. So I'm gonna show these uh, beautiful uh, candles when we see each other again on next Sunday, July 25th at 12 noon Pacific time. Don't forget guys, next live stream, okay? Yeah! So these are my beautiful citrus candles. And guys, uh, if you have any questions or uh, any uh, ideas of videos that you want me to make, uh, just drop it down on the uh, comments box below. And also, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and also share my my content with all uh, your friends and family. And also guys, don't forget to check out my other channel, uh, Healthy Lane with Michael, which uh, where I post almost every day. I do my car vlogs, I do all about me living in Portland. So just go check it out. Uh, the link is also already down, also on the on the description box, okay? So I'll see you next one. Take care, bye. Yes!